I'm going to be showing you how to animate tools in Roblox. So the first thing you want to do is go to view at the top here, open up explorer and properties. Next, you're going to want to insert a blank rig. So we're going to go to avatar here, go to rig builder, and then select which rig type you want. So I'm going to go with R6, and then I'm going to go with block avatar, and then it should summon a blank avatar here. Now, so we can animate the tool, we're going to go to the rig. We're going to select it. We're going to go to explore, open that up, right click the right arm, insert object, then insert a motor 60. If this is R15, you want to insert it into the right hand. Now we're going to name this tool grip. Now we're going to set the part zero to the right arm or right hand if you're on R15. Set the part one to the handle. And then so we can get the right grip position because the grip position is going to be adjusted for the tool. We're just going to disable this handle real quick. We're going to disable this tool grip and we're just going to move this into the character. And then a right grip should appear inside of the right arm. Now we're just going to go to C0 and copy it paste it into the C0 of the motor 60. So you're gonna go to the go to the weld and then copy all of these four properties here. So you just want to select the weld, select one of the properties, and then paste it into the same spot in the motor 60 and do that for all four. Once they look identical, we can disable the weld, enable the motor 60, and then now we can start animating it. So we're just gonna select the rig, animation editor, select it. I'm just gonna name it box animation uh, create. Then as you can see here, we're able to animate the tool and we can change the position of it. And we're also able to animate the rest of the rig. So I'm just gonna make a quick animation with a tool and then I'm gonna show you how to export it. Now, this is just a quick example for the tutorial. It, when you're making your animation, you're gonna wanna make it look a lot better than this. But here's a basic animation that shows what the handle can do when you can animate it. And now I'm gonna show you how to export it. So we're just gonna go to these three dots down here, click publish to Roblox. This should pop up on your screen and then you just press save. Now, before you close it, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna copy this ID because we're going to be using the animation later. Now we can close the animation editor. Next, you're going to want to go to your tool. So we're going to right click it, insert object, insert the animation, and then we're going to paste the animation ID that we copied into there. Now I'm just going to move the tool into starter pack. You don't have to move it in there, but I'm just going to move it there because we are going to want the tool by default. Now, once you're done doing that, you can destroy the rig and now we can start our scripting. So we're just going to go to starter character scripts, uh, right click it, insert object, go to script, and make sure it's a normal script. If it's a local script, this will, this will not work. Now we can delete this and start scripting. So local character equals script.parent because the script automatically spawns inside of the character. Next local function, child added, and then object. Whenever something new loads into the character, like a tool, we'll be able to detect it. So if object is a tool, then Local handle equals object find first child handle. So we're going to check if it has a handle first. And now we're going to check for the right arm. What the script is going to do is convert the weld that spawns in a character automatically with a motor 60 so we can animate that. Local right arm goes character, local right arm. And up here we're going to add a variable for the humanoid so we can detect what the rig type it is because if it's R15, we're going to be checking for the right hand. And if it's R6, we're going to be checking for a right arm. So if humanoid rig type equals enum dot humanoid rig type dot R15, then right arm equals character find first child right hand. Otherwise, right arm equals character find first child right arm. Now, if right arm, then local right grip equals right arm find first child. Now we're gonna check for the right grip. So right grip, if there is one, then we can start replacing it with a motor 60. So local mo motor equals instance dot new motor 60. Motor dot parent equals right arm. Motor dot part zero equals right arm. Then motor dot part one equals the handle. Next, we're just gonna copy the properties. So motor dot c zero equals c frame dot new. And I'm just gonna make a version that works with both R15 and R6. So zero negative right arm dot size dot y divided by two so this is going to offset the tool grip position by how big the right arm is or how tall it is so that it always appears in the middle of the hand and then side and then the angle because it's going to be wanting to pointing down so when the arm is facing up it's going to be facing forward negative math dot, dot pi two zero zero and then the c1 is just the grip of the tool so object dot grip then now right grip Repeat right grip dot ancestry changed weight until right grip dot parent does not equal right arm. So we're waiting for the right grip to get destroyed and then we're going to destroy the motor 60. And then finally, character dot child added connect child added so that the function runs. And now we're going to disable the mo the weld. So weld dot enabled equals false. Then motor dot name equals tool grip. Whatever you named it when you're animating it, you're going to want to change the motor 60 to that name so that the animations know to animate that specific motor. So what this script is going to 
gonna do. It's gonna wait for a tool to be added. It's gonna find a handle, if it has a handle, and then it's gonna find the right arm, if you have a right arm. It's gonna replace the grip with a Motor 6D, and then destroy the Motor 6D whenever the right grip is gone. As you can see here, it works just like a normal tool, but the difference is, so if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to play the animation, so I'm just gonna make a quick script to do that. Now I've made a quick script to play the animation. Obviously, if you're actually using this to play the animation, you wanna make it look, look, look a lot better and add a lot more checks into it, but this is just for the tutorial. So if I just press play here, as you can see here, we're gonna hold the tool and when I use it, we can animate the tool and it actually moves away from the hand. Make sure to slap the like button and punch the subscribe button and peace out.